In this video, we will discuss about consumption function. Overview of the topic Number 1. What is consumption function? Number 2. What is average propensity to consume? Number 3. What is marginal propensity to consume? Number 4. What is average propensity to save? And number 5. What is marginal propensity to save? First, we will discuss about consumption. So, what is consumption? Consumption function or propensity to consume means the whole of the schedule showing consumption expenditure at various levels of income. The consumption function or propensity to consume therefore indicates a functional relationship between the aggregates, for example, total consumption expenditure and the gross national income. It is a schedule that expresses relationship between consumption and disposable income. The consumption function is represented as C equals to A plus B Y D where Yd equals to disposable income, that is income after government interventions, for example, benefits and taxes. A equals to autonomous consumption, that is consumption when income is zero, for example, even with no income, you may borrow to be able to buy food. And B equals to marginal propensity to consume, that is the percentage of extra income that is spent. It is also known as induced consumption. Next, number two, that is average propensity to consume. Average propensity to consume is the percentage of total disposable income which households spend on goods and services. It is the ratio of total consumption to total disposable income. It tells them what proportion of their income households consume and how much they save. Since consumption rate determines the personal consumption expenditure component of the GDP and saving rate is the driver of private investments and eventually future growth in consumption, finding out where current income is utilized is important. Formula for average propensity to consume Average propensity to consume is calculated by dividing total consumption C by total disposable income Y, that is, APC equals to C by Y. Next, number 3, marginal propensity to consume. Marginal propensity to consume, MPC, is the proportion of an individual's additional income which is spends. It is the ratio of change in consumption to change in income. It can also be defined as the slope of the consumption function. Formula for MPC, marginal propensity to consume can be calculated by dividing the change in consumption to change in disposable income, that is MPC equals to delta C by delta Y. Next moving to number 4, average propensity to save. Average propensity to save refers to the ratio of saving to the corresponding level of income. Formula for APS. Average propensity to save is calculated by dividing total savings S by total income Y, that is APS equals to S by Y. And lastly, number 5, marginal propensity to save. The marginal propensity to save is the fraction of an increase in income that is not spent and instead used for saving. It is the slope of the line plotting saving against income. Formula for MPS. Marginal propensity to save can be calculated by dividing the change in savings to change in disposable income, that is MPS equals to delta S by delta Y. If you liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel.